Hey, Jay here. We got a flat on this bike a while back. Well, today. So we already talked about how to save it on the trail with the zip ties. We're going to show you how to double tube it right now since we're going to have a no good tube here. So we got the tire on the tire stand. Uh, this is a first step. Having a good tire stand is crucial to these kind of jobs, I think. Um, I don't like doing them on the ground or on a bucket. I've just got so much more control like this. So uh, previously, you know, we talked about these. So you see my zip ties that we're going to cut off here. Maybe. There we go. So we want to get these off, obviously. So luckily, when we got a flat on this one, we got these on, and we had just easy trail ahead of us, and able to take some dirt road back right to our truck, to our van. So it's a pretty easy deal. So a lot of people don't realize that you can actually double tube, and what that will do. It just adds a little more protection from pinch, fl pinch flats, um, and it's nice. I kind of do it on mainly on 18 inch, mainly on 18 inch stuff that uh, you know we're trail riding. I, I don't do it too much on motocross bikes. We don't ride tracks that are that rough. Back in the day, we would do it at Mammoth. That was a track that would have square edge and be hidden. We would do them on there. Because, of course, you're adding some weight to the to the rear wheel. Um, I don't know if I'll ever notice, you know. So you see how it takes bites about two inches apart, just like so. I push my body against the tire. Now we're all the way off, get my tube out of the way here, and I can push the entire setup off, pull my wheel back, this side up, just inspect everything's okay, rim lock's okay, it's not broken. Put the tire back up here. Now, this is the part where we're just going to cut this off. I didn't even look to see where our puncture was or whatever we got. We'll deal. We'll worry about that another day. Just going to fillet this open like a fish or whatever here. We're cutting it right down to the center. Just like so. And we like a good quality tube. We have the Dunlop heavy tube, not super heavy, just they're heavy, which was great. See, this tube has a bunch of powder in here, which is actually really nice for us. Here's our brand new 18 inch tube. A lot of times I'll li line up the valve stem right where the old one was. Just like that. So once we get it back to this point, we We'll add a little air in here. Okay, so we had to take a little break there and let my junkie compressor catch up here. So we put some air in here. I'm gonna let a little bit out. I like to have it just, just right. So we put the air in the tire first. A lot of guys, you know, aren't used to doing this. And this is definitely, if you're used to feeding the tube in with half the tire on already, when you're double tubing it like this, you wouldn't be able to do that. So we're going to stuff our tube in the tire just like this. Okay, so I took a little break there. I actually had to take a photo of the tube so that people could see that for our thumbnail or something cool. Okay, so that's about right. Just hardly any pressure in here at all. Now, 
I'm going to grab a nut, which I keep in my mouth, which is, you don't want to share that with anyone else. I got tire paste here. We used a tire paste from Hunter Engineering, really good stuff. I like, I wish somebody in the moto industry had something as good and they would sponsor me. Okay, but we're good. So while I'm putting a used tire on, I'm always looking for that good edge. So I'm gonna make sure it's going the right way. So right now, we're going the right way. Okay, so I put the nut on and I'm just about halfway on the stem. And I'm pushing on here and I'm making sure the tube is inside the tire. I push the rim lock on. On KTMs, it's nice because they're, these are really close together like this. That makes it a little easier than the other ways I'll do it when, when, they're, when they're more opposite each other. So, so I'm lifting with my left hand a hair, getting underneath so I'm not scratching the rim at all. Okay, so now I'm on. Now at this point, I'm going to flip it over, and I want to double check that I'm good right in here. No tube, no tube sticking out, looking good. Now that step right there, you don't have to do, but I've learned if you don't, bad things happen. So now I'm going to check right here at the rim lock to make sure our tube is on this over the rim lock. So we're good. Rim lock's good and moving. So, and I'm gonna put a little bit more because it's kind of hot. It's kind of dried quickly. A little more tire paste, and I'm gonna start just a little ways away from the valve stem, like so. Put our bead buddy in there. Kind of a must tool. And I take bites about three inches apart, like so. And you can kind of see the the liner tube or double tube, kind of poking through. I'm gonna go over here and knock the tire off the bead, keep it off. You can see that tube sticking out a little bit. And see how easy that just went on? Now this is a used gummy tire, so it's pretty dang easy. So let's see if we can bead this thing up real quick. Okay, so we're beat it up all the way here. I want to flip it over and double check. Again, if you don't double check, you'll for sure be off. We're all the way on. Now I'm going to tighten up the rim lock and set the pressure. Um, that's all there is to it. Um, I don't have my ratcheting a wrench, which would be a whole lot nicer. So that gives us, it's a, you know, basically like a super, super heavy tube with having both tubes in there. It is a bit heavier, but not a big deal. So if you're riding in a lot of rocks and running lower pressures, we run lower pressures on these um, trials tires or the gummies. We'll run, typically we run eight to 11, somewhere in there um, on our gummies while we're trail riding. Now guys with tubeless and all that stuff, they're running, you know, four, five. These tires, none of these were designed to run that low. So um, we're not running that low and the tires will last longer at those other pressures. So um, we'll get this on here, set pressure, and we're good to go. So that's all there is to double tubing. Hopefully that helps you out some, and see you at the track or trail soon.